This is Culver City, the heart of Screenland. Here, thousands of iconic movies and shows have been made, along with the stars that have shaped the world for decades. From Judy Garland to Zoe Deschanel, people all over the world have looked to us to set the next look, the next trend, the next it girl. But with the rise of social media, this additional exposure gives this illusion of perfection around the clock, sending the message that these stars are perfect and what we should be. But it's not just Instagram that impacts us, it's also billboards, magazines, and films, all defining the ideal body image that less than 5% of the US population naturally has. So we asked some young adults in our community what they thought about this issue. I used to compare myself to people like constantly, but I realized that it, it doesn't do any good for me. If I'm constantly comparing myself, then what am, what am I gonna benefit off of, you know? There's nothing, it's good for me, it's bad. Like I follow Kylie Jenner on Snapchat and just seeing her like, she just always looks so good and I don't know how because it's on Snapchat and there's like, cause it's, you know that that's not photoshopped and so you know that that's what she looks like. And you just feel like, oh my God, I can't even take a decent picture of myself from like here up and I don't know. I have a, a certain fashion style that I don't live up to um, and it's mainly because of how the certain fashion style that I like is popularized on a specific body type of girls and I don't fit along that so me not feeling like I'm within their standards makes me like it makes me not like want to you know be who I truly am with when it comes to like fashion or like you know expressing who I am yeah I don't know like I don't do like any interviews or anything like that and I don't like I don't know like stand up in front of the class or like raise my hand that much <laughs> Would you say it gets in the way of your education? Yeah, definitely, like for sure. Like it's really hard to be at this school. Which social media site makes you most insecure after visiting it? I'd, I'd say Instagram. Instagram for sure. Instagram, definitely, Instagram. I have Instagram, Snapchat, and Tumblr. And Instagram definitely makes me really insecure because you just see an image, that's it. You don't know the story behind it. You don't. You don't really know anything about it, you just see an image. I have been seeing more recently, like, um, people are starting to bring awareness to it, kind of, and kind of trying to, like, bring empowerment to, like, all people and not just a specific, like, person who's popularized or a specific, like, um, set of girls who are popularized. I feel like people do talk about it and there's really no way of, like, getting around it. So I don't think it's not overlooked. Team Slay from Culver City High School is committed to correcting the irresponsible failures of the entertainment industry by educating our community about the dangers of falling for this illusion. We are launching a week full of activities to help people aware of this threat to all individuals. Join us to show media we are more than just bodies. We are powerful individuals with value and worth that does not derive from our physical appearance.